Good night, good night, have a watch out tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Irma J. Spirit Divine. I'm here to give you a word on t- tonight. Uh, and the title going to be Jacob married Lee and Rachel. You know, you know, he went there to um, find a wife, not to, you know, of a, he going to be deceived and going to end up with two wives. You know, so we left off a yesterday, you know, um, Jacob arrived, you know, at Aram by his mother, brother, Lamb. You know, he arrived there yesterday, you know, running from Esau and to follow instruction to marry one of Lamb's own daughters. And uh, he saw Rachel and he fell in love. You know, so that's that's what we all uh, talked about yesterday. And to add on today's lesson is Jacob married Lee and Rachel, but he loved Rachel. You know, and Lambert uh, wanted to uh, to pay him for working and watering his sheep. You know, but um, and ask him, what your wages are? You know, just because you're my relative. You know, that don't mean you should be working for me for nothing. You know, so instead of him paying him money to work in the field, he said, well, just give me your, um, give me your daughter. And I'll be fine with that. He said, I'll work for that. You know, so today's package is going to be coming from Genesis chapter 29. 15 through 30. You know, so now Jacob are still staying in that house. Remember yesterday he walked with him with open arms. He said, you my flesh and blood. You know, so it been a whole month. Now Jacob had been watering lavish sheep. You know, been in the field. Remember, that's the first um, place he landed at in his field. You know, so he loved um, watering his sheep, you know, taking care of the sheep. So Lamb said, just because we are relative, you know, are mine, you should not be working for nothing. You know, what are your wages? You know, so his uncle willing to pay him. You see how hard he's working in the field. You know, so now Jacob is there to find a wife. And he also is running from Esau. You know, so now he will not give him no wages. You know, Lambert um, have two daughters. You know, and the older daughter is Lee. You know, she have a weak eye. You know, and the youngest daughter is Rachel. You know, she have a, they said she have a lovely figure and she beautiful. That's the first thing he saw when he was on that field, when she came with her, her father's sheep. You know, so when Jacob first saw her, he fell in love with her and he told, he told Lamb. You know, so Jacob said, I'll work for you for seven years. Now he volunteered himself. You know, Lamb didn't tell him he had to work for seven years. Jacob volunteered himself. He said, I'll work for seven years. Um, for your daughter Rachel, you, you know, so, um, but see, Larry not going to tell him right off hand that you can't marry the youngest one until you marry the, until the first, um, the older one be married. He is, he did not explain that to Jacob, you know, so we see that Jacob found himself a wife and he willing to work for her, you know, Larry is better that I give her. So Larry said, so when, when, when um, Jacob said, I want your, your daughter, I worked seven years for your daughter, Lamb said, okay, you know, I'd rather see her with you than to see her with an automatic. You know, so Jacob served seven years to get Rachel. Seven years to get Rachel. And it been seven whole years, but to Jacob, you know, it seemed like a few days. You know, so when you when your love is that strong, you know, them seven years wasn't nothing to him. It probably went by so fast because all in his mind, he was just thinking about Rachel. You know, he was thinking about, I want her. I want her. You know, so them seven years had to went by to him. He said it felt like a uh, few days for him, you know, because the love was just that strong. You know, Jacob loved Rachel so much, seven years wasn't nothing to him. You know, he ran through them seven years. He said it was just like a few days to him. You know, he, the law was just that strong. You know, it was that strong that he went through seven years and it felt like it was seven, uh, a few days. You know, so Jacob said to Lamb, now he done, he done finish his seven day, his seven years. You know, so he telling his uncle, give me my wife. Give me my wife. You know, my time is complete. You know, I want to make love to my wife. Give me my wife. I done served seven years. Give me my wife. You know, so now Jacob complete his labor. And he ready for his wife. You know, but let me give a feast. You know, a, a wedding feast. You know, um, 
But when evening came, you know, he took his daughter Lee, you know, and brought her to Jacob. And Jacob made love to her. So either Jacob was drunk, you know, because I don't know how you don't know you were with the sister. You know, it had to be real dark in a room and he had to be drunk, you know, to not know that he had the wrong sister in his room. You know, so now I don't know how Jacob, you know, did not know that was racial. You know, he either was drunk or the room was just that dark. You know, so when morning came, you know, when morning came, you know, that was Lee. No racial. You know, so when Jacob worked seven years, he worked seven hard years for Rachel. And he wake up in the morning, it's late. You know, anybody had to be so mad. You know, you don't work so hard for, for something. And then the next day, they always say the next day is always a brand new day. You know, the light shine in the morning when that morning come. So when that morning came and all that light was just shining in, you know, it was late. You know, he don't work so hard. So he telling Lamb, what is this? What is this? You know, what have you done? You know, did I say I want to marry Rachel? You know, so then Lamb is going to explain to him that the older sister, you know, have to be married first, you know, before the youngest one. Now, he should explain that to Jacob, you know, when he made agreement to Jacob to give him his daughter. You know, so it's morning, and he wake up, and it's late. You know, so Jacob said to Lamb, what is this? What have you done to me? You know, now he's mad. He mad, but guess what? He did not dump Lee. You know, he didn't dump. He didn't tell her, get away from me. You, you know, I don't want her. He didn't say none of that. He didn't say, what you done to me? You know, he did not dump Lee. He kept Lee on the sideline. He kept Lee on the bench, you, you know. He didn't, he didn't toss her away. He just, just tossed her on the side, you know. And then he wants to serve. Now, he said, I served you for racial. Didn't I? You know, why have you deceived me? Now, Jacob Norman is a deceiver. But now he got deceived. You know, remember, he deceived Esau. Took his blessing. That's the reason why he running off. But now he get deceived. You know, so now Larry deceived Jacob. But Lee played a part. You know, knowing that uh, Jacob wants to marry Rachel. Now, Lee played a part in her father deceiving Jacob. You know, why Jacob was um, um, watching and monitoring Rachel, you know, Lee was watching and monitoring Jacob. So when her father came to her to deceive Jacob, she had no problem. She did not say no. She went along with her father's plan. You know, so she is guilty just as, as her father. You know, so Lamar replied, it is not our custom, you know, here to give the youngest daughter in marriage, you know, before the oldest one. You know, but he should explain that to Jacob, you know. But Lamar should have told Jacob at the beginning, you know, Lamar said, finish. Finish this daughter. Now, he telling him, finish this daughter right here. You know, this, this festival, wedding festival is going to last for a whole week. So just, just finish this whole week out with this daughter right here. That's what he said. And then we will give you the youngest one also in a return for another seven years to work. You know, so he didn't work the first years for um for Rachel and got the wrong sister. But now let me tell him, you keep that one right there. You know, but I need you to work another seven years to get Rachel. You know, so he telling Jacob, okay, you got one sister. You know, but I need you to work a seven more years to get racial. And Jacob said, okay. You know, not Jacob. You know, um, Jacob said, okay. You know, Jacob married the wrong daughter, but now he have to work another seven years, you know, to get uh, to get the, the woman that he want. You know, so he finished. He finished the week with Lee. You know, and now if there was, was, any, if there was anyone else, and they married the wrong one, and somebody deceived them like that, you know, they'll be on a rampage. You know, they would have, he, the, the, anybody that would have tossed her on the side, like, get her away from me, dump her, you know, Jacob didn't do none of that. Jacob didn't do none of that. 
Jacob just kept her alone on the sideline. But the only thing, you know, going to hurt her, that he don't love her more than Rachel. You know, he cared for her, but he got so much love for Rachel. She was a she was a mistake. He wasn't supposed to marry her. And then again, he can't fully love her because she was a part of her father's plan that deceived Jacob. You know, so that's why his heart can't really fully love her from deceiving Jacob. You know, so Jacob did so. Um, he finished the um the week I would leave. And now, if there wasn't you know, if there was anyone else, you know, there was there was a demand, you know, for their wife. You know, they would have told her, get her away from me and, and demand their wife. But Jacob didn't dump Lee. But he said seven more years for Rachel. That's how strong his love is for Rachel. You know, so then let me give Jacob his daughter Rachel to be his wife. You know, so now let me give his servant, you know. He, now he gave his daughter to Jacob. Also give his daughter, a, one of his servants, you know, to his daughter Rachel as her attendant. You know, so he gave her a, a, a servant to take care of her, you know, while he with uh, Jacob. You know, so now Jacob, you know, made love to Rachel, and his love for Rachel was greater than his love for Leah. You know, so Jacob compl complicated story. You know, Jacob feared his twin brother Esau, you know, would kill him and also to find a wife. That's the reason why he died. You know, and he found the wife who he thought, you know, he married, you know, uh, but he did not marry Rachel. He married the sister first. So Jacob was um, committed to wait seven years, you know, as his gift, you know, in turn, let me give each of his daughters to him. Not one, but two. You know, he gave both of his daughters to um, Jacob, you know, so, um. Let me claim a local customer requires that the older daughter, you know, to be married first, you know, the feast lasts a whole week, you know. So, he, that mean, he wanted his, his ratio, but, you know, the uncle said, you got to finish out this week with, with, with Lee. Then, you, then you're going to have to work a seven years, another seven years for ratio. So, when Larry agrees, say he agreed, but did not tell Jacob. That he had to marry the older sister first. See, Lamar agreed, you know, but after seven years, he deceived Jacob. Now he waited until the seven years was up and he deceived Jacob when it was time for the do the exchange, you know, for um Rachel. You know, so on the night, on the night, Jacob and Rachel were to be married, but Lamb would give him Lee. You know, now she in the middle of it. Now, she loved Jacob, so that's why she let her father use her like that. You know, she let her father use her like that. You know, she, she got an eye for Jacob. That's why she gone along with this plan with her father. So, Jacob wound up working 14 years. And in the end of, the end of these, of the 14 years, he ended up with two wives. You know, he a pussy marry one wife. He went there to find one wife. You know, but he then he was supposed to serve seven years, but he ended up serving fourteen years, and then he ended up with two wives, not one but two. In a um uh, in a twist, you know, the deceiver Jacob. Now Jacob is the deceiver. Remember, he deceived his his brother birthright. Then he deceived his blessing. You know, so uh the deceiver is Jacob, who stole his brother blessing and his birthright. You know, but Jacob himself got to see. Huh. He got to see. You see how the table can turn. You know, he don't he running from his brother because he deceived his brother not once, but he deceived his brother twice. You know, and so Lamb deceived Jacob. You know, Jacob thought he was marrying Rachel, but he married Lee. When morning came, you know, when morning came and that light was shining. You know, that's when he realized he had the wrong sister. You know, so uh, Jacob loved Rachel more than Lee. You know, Lee also helped her father deceive Jacob. You know, so that's the story of Jacob marrying Lee and Rachel. And the story going to go on 
on the next page um that um god gonna see that lee is not being loved by jacob because he loved Rachel so much you know so god gonna close up Rachel, but she can't have no children and open up lee where she can have all the children she want for jacob you know and we're gonna talk more about that you know if jacob gonna love her for these children or he's still gonna love Rachel. you know because sometimes you can have all these children you know and they still don't change the main mind you know so we're gonna read on that tomorrow how the marriage gonna come to gonna turn out you, you know uh gonna be to he go he gonna have two two wives and, and two wives is his both of um her sisters two sisters you know, so we're going to talk about how that's going to work out. You know, he got two wives, two sisters. You know, God going to allow one to have all uh, children. That's why when Jacob was um, in, in Cana, you know, when God told his children to multiply, see, Lee going to have so many children for Jacob. You know, Rachel just going to have two. She's going to have um, Joseph. She's going to have Benjamin. You know, she's going to die when she have um, Benjamin. You know, so that's why you know, God, you know, Jacob is the nation. That's why God said your offspring going to be the nation. You know, Jacob already had a whole bunch of children, you know, when he, when he, then when they went to Egypt, you know, so God told them to multiply and they're going to multiply so great, you know, so we're going to see how this story is going to play it out with the two wives end up to being two sisters, you know, so that's all the word I have for y'all today. Y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all on the next video.